Over the past few decades, significant progress has been made to improve air quality in California, resulting in fewer asthma attacks, sick days, emergency room visits, and lives lost too soon. While air pollution in California has improved, many parts of the state still have unhealthy levels of air pollution. Air quality agencies set air pollution limits called ambient air quality standards to protect public health and the environment. These standards intend to protect all people, especially those at high risk, such as children, people with asthma, and the elderly. Because different pollutants have unique effects on the human body, standards are set for each pollutant separately. The US EPA sets national ambient air quality standards for certain pollutants. California sets its own statewide standards that are generally more protective of human health than the national standards and include additional pollutants. These standards are reviewed and revised every five years as new data becomes available. How is compliance with ambient air quality standards measured? California has specific air monitors to measure its compliance with our health-based standards. With California's complex landscape and variety of emission sources, air quality can sometimes change quickly over small distances. Therefore, a comprehensive network of air quality monitors is necessary to understand which parts of the state do not meet ambient air quality standards. Places in California that do not meet the ambient air quality standards, such as Los Angeles and many parts of San Joaquin Valley, are called non-attainment areas. The US EPA requires that regions that fail to meet these standards need to submit a statewide implementation plan, or SIP, that describes how the non-attainment area will improve air quality to meet ambient air quality standards. Each SIP is submitted to the US EPA for review and approval. Local air districts and CARB work together to develop these plans. Each SIP plan is required to include a detailed emissions inventory, identify existing rules and regulations that help meet the standard and evaluate the feasibility of new pollution controls, use computer simulations to determine if the plan will meet the standard, and engage the public and other stakeholders in the review of the plan. SIPs are periodically updated until a region meets an ambient air quality standard. Protecting public health by improving air quality conditions to meet or exceed ambient air quality standards is the goal of the California Air Resource Board and the state's 35 air districts. <laughs>